So, uh, this is a quick introduction of, or prologue or whatever. I'm going to do my, uh, videos, my update videos a bit differently. Like, each time I add, like, a, I'm just going to record clips of each, like, content I've added. Like, after I added them and then compile those videos into one, so it won't, so when you watch the whole video, it won't seem, you know, coherent, you know. But... I just, it just, this is mainly, mainly to help me, you know, to like, to get a little break from, you know, for, you know, programming and stuff, so I can, you know, kind of play the game and, you know, do some recording, because, you know, just to break up the mono monotony, you know, but anyway, so these are the, this, this is how it's going to be for the future, um, update videos, but I'm not going to have like an introduction like this every time, it's just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to list them. You know, maybe we'll all we'll see how it goes. But anyway, hope you enjoy these updates. Yay! All right, for the uh, cave updates, I've added two new possible uh, cave encounters. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous two, three uh, videos, but most likely two, because I think the caves was shown in the last video. Um, basically, there'll be like multiple zones, um, overworld maps. Right now, we will only have grasslands, and the caves will vary on the map you're, you're the overworld you're on. So if you're in grasslands, you usually encounter like regular caves, either some just you know, dirt caves, little coves, water, and stuff like that. But there's also like a small chance to encounter these two new caves uh, toxic um, lake caves and lava caves which are from other like other maps too but like uh, in the grasslands you have a small chance of encountering them but if you're in a say lava map you'll have a higher chance of you'll um, more frequently encounter lava maps while uh, some other maps still have like toxic caves like this um with toxic pools but anyway with these uh new um these new um tiles you get like uh i've added the poison and burning status effect but right now only your character can get him eventually i'll have the mobs be able to um get them too but depending on who they are they might not be affected or they'll you know like the skeletons, for example, they can't be poisoned, but they can be burned. They, they can get the effect, but they won't take damage. It'll be more like, um, basically, they'll, un unlike you, where the burning will uh, run out eventually, uh, they'll be set ablaze until they, you know, they don't, until you kill them. But the thing with that is, like, if you're fighting a melee skeleton, you'll also be set on fire. As well, if you're on, if the, if there's a range skeleton, they're, they'll be set on fire too, and their uh, bows, their arrows will also be set on fire. But anyway, I'm going to show you the um, poison, the toxic, the toxic puddle tiles. Essentially, like when you um, step on them, there's only a small, there's a chance to um, get poison. It's not during the first step, it's as long as you're standing on there. Because, uh, yeah, see? And then um, with the DOT ticks, it's slow. Well, not slower than a fire burning DOT. And uh, each time you um, take a step, it deals da the damage when you um, every time you move. So you may want to you can get rid of it with an antidote, or just stand there, and it'll eventually go away. And uh, with each tick, it does have a chance to. Um, that's of a chance to uh, go away faster, but it can take. But if it doesn't go away, if you're not really unlucky, most of the time, most of the time, it'll go like it'll take most of your health away already. Like, like, cause um, the damage is is based on percentage. Like I've just increased my level to hundred, and then you notice the damage will increase more if I can get poisoned. Yep, there it goes. See, thirty three. I forgot what it was earlier, but I wasn't paying attention. It was either 9 or 3. 
but right now it's like it deals 3% of your max HP per tick. Damage resistance is not applied, so even if you're a tank, you can still get, you can still get, at least level right now, level 1 with 25%, dealing 6 damage per tick, but if I'm level 100, level 36 damage per tick, just because I have a higher HP, so basically, yeah. But so, like if you're a fast character, you might hopefully you'll you be lucky enough to um, get out of it fast before getting a uh, getting um poisoned. So that's like that's like you know not only do extra damage but try to force you to not move. So you gotta be careful. It's like if you're in a monster which um being chased by a monster, you know. Well, I mean the thing is. They won't move until you move, but there will be some monsters that will move regardless. And those will most likely be like, you know, the tough monsters. You know, it's just so you can have a little, added some uh, variety of the game. It's, you know, there's some strategies, some like, you know, so like you get to decide which one, which one to um, fight. And, you know, if someone does, ch if you encounter those monsters that chase you regardless of whether you move or attack them, you got to be careful whether they're not, you know, not to get poisoned or anything like that. So anyway, I'll uh, see if I can find the uh, fire. Oops, I messed up again. Because I have it set so that will sh will spawn caves only, and sh and it will only spawn either the toxic caves or a lava cave. But I'll like turn it back. Go away, get away! Stop chasing me, assholes! Oh fuck! I did it. Damn it! I should probably I should have probably added a key that spawns the caves rather than, you know, because I don't think things I don't think things through. Lava! Damn it! Really? It's like literally just two caves, like fifty percent chance of this being um, lava or acid cave. Damn it! Did it again. Oh, while I'm here, um, if you have a boat, you can swim on the lava and. Toxic pools without getting the buff, debuff, but if you're in the uh, lava, it will deal damage to your boat. So, and you'll have to recraft it again. There we go. So, okay. So the, the fire DOT, the fire I meant for the lava tiles. Unlike the uh, toxic ti acid tiles, or whatever, you'll get burnt right away. See, and it's. It's normally faster than the uh, poison ticks, and just like the poison, it deals damage based on your uh, percentage of your max HP, but it's only like 1.5%, so it's basically half the poison, but it takes a lot faster. And to get rid of your fire, um, well, before that, uh, if, as long as you're standing in the pool, the ticks will tick down faster than if you're outside of it. To get rid of it, you can either like just wait till it um burns away, or unlike the poison, you can just spam your movement keys outside of the fire source and it'll get away pretty fast. So, so basically, it can be basically poison can be worse than fire. But the thing with fire is, you know, it's like don't try to encourage you to move. So, you know, then if you're fighting a mob with a with you know. Monster that can set you a fire. Uh, that um, you can either just stay still and just take the flame, or you can move around. Which will, uh, if you're trying to keep a distance between the monsters, that will like make the monsters go close to you close a lot closer. But shouldn't be shouldn't be that difficult. But you know, on the overworld, but that will eventually like adds like like caves. You know, that has smaller, you know, thinner areas. It'll be harder to um just run around without you know. So anyway. And then we talked about the mechanic with the skeletons being set of blaze. And then, uh, oh yeah, unlike the poisoned one, the uh, fire damage, the damage resistance is um, included. So like we said about night, even though that's 1.5% of my health, I have 50% damage resistance. So it'll be like, it'll be like only nine damage. But I kind of screwed up on the, then uh, oh wait, so that's a different one. But uh, anyway, so if I'm on my level um, 100 uh, gunslinger, for example, I'll, I have less health, but I also have less damage resistance. So to like 13 damage compared to the um, tank. So basically, 
poison and sick tanks weak one of the, one of the few like one of the weakness of the tanks tank characters because since you know but they can deal with fire a bit better than uh but they move slow so they can supposedly get you know get more to take more text from the flame than the speed um the one than the faster movement char moving characters because just you know and then uh, I think that's about it, you know. Like fire, there's less damage protect, but it takes a lot faster and encourages you to move more. And the point of like poison, you know, uh, it try to um, it's more damage protect, but it takes slower, and it encourages you to try to stand still, basically. And uh, that might like change up some battle strategies a bit, you know. Hopefully, I'll eventually add more status effects. Because hopefully they'll do more than just, you know, either de lower stats or do damage. They'll also, like, you know, try to get you to do more things or not do more certain things. So, you know, so at least so at least the monsters will have a better chance of killing you, you know. I don't think this will be a too difficult, difficult game. Honestly, it's supposed to be a casual kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess next update, maybe. I don't know. Because uh, I'm recording this in bits now instead of waiting till I update a bunch and then I'll put them together so I don't know which, what update will be next. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, next update is um, I added the option to change your direction without moving. But you won't be able to see it. I'll add some indicator at some point. But you can see it easily with my range tunes. Let's see, I'll just level them up to 100 for no reason. It's like, see, I'm, I'm moving right now. But if you don't, if you want to, you know, if you're kiting someone, you want you want to face them, but you don't want them to move towards you. So that means you don't want to move. You just hold shift and hold the arrow keys, and it'll just will change your directions. See, look, if I'm facing right, then I press F. Bam, it shoots to the right. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change to my archer, it'll be easier to like. Hey, pew. And then I'm gonna change to the left, go up. But of course, while, like for archers, while you're um, holding it, you can't change directions, so you have to release first. So yeah. So that's the you know, like fun uh, phase. But also, so far, the only one taking it actually has. Um, could be worth something. Maybe the mage too. Well, mage is also a range. So I can just do pew, pew, pew. Oops. Pew, 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 pew. Pew. Come here, Alright. So, uh. I've added uh, an update um, damage from enemies, and of course there's only one enemy right now, but uh, I'll, sh I'll show you, but I guess while I'm waiting to spawn out um, the way damage calcul is calculated, is uh, first we'll take the base damage, and then we'll um, include like, go we'll apply crit chance, with the crit severity of course, and apply the target's damage resistance after the crits. Then it will, and then it will just spray out that damage. And then we can like affect it in it, and the, you can have any other um, abilities affect that final damage or even before crit. But so far, since I don't have a lot of attacks yet, I only have one enemy. That's gonna be the way it is right now. But essentially, yeah, it's the like level. Um, let's say I'm a level of a tank. Tim, you know what? Well, it's thirty percent. So I mean, it'll, it'll still be noticeable, but not that noticeable but anyway so like I'm gonna go my non tank tune I don't know if I know I mentioned this but if you hold tab you can see where they're going I'm gonna have a toggle eventually but you know see now there's damage to me well it's supposed to crit but I think I did it when it crits it's supposed to deal more damage but I think I might have messed that up but anyway that's the 29 damage da 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 and if I switch to my tank You'll notice it just does, well since it's only 30%, it does like, you know, 28, but it's just a few, it's still 
pretty much just one anyway. But when you're blocking, you can uh, decrease that. It'll um, decrease that final damage after all the calculations by a uh, seventy-five percent when you're blocking. But I may I may add it so that instead um, it'll use the character's damage resistance as well instead of just straight up seventy-five percent. I'm not sure yet. It depends how the game feels because I want to have other characters with varying amount of uh, damage resistance and stuff like that. But anyway, I've also added um. Let me get away for real quick. Let me get rid of its MP. So like just like any classes um. When you attack, you get you um, you get um. MP based on your attacking. Some of them have different ways to um, get MP, but most of the time, most of the melees get MP by getting by attacking. But for a tank, you can attack to get MP, but it's supposed to be slow. But if you block, you get MP a bit faster. It's not double like when you block. It's like, it's like a 1.5 um, multiplier when you block to get the recover. So if you're fighting a group of enemies, you'll recover MP even faster. See? Just like so you can spam your um, um, AOE attacking more often now. But uh, when you're high level, it won't really be a big difference. Because you can, especially if you're fighting four monsters at once, you'll recover the MP. You got nearly infinite MP. I might change, I might change some MP recovery eventually because... Uh, like if you're, at, oh, it's actually, it's actually still fairly fast. Yeah, see the um, faster attack, um, melee two can recover really, uh, recover the MP much faster because they can you can attack twice, and then but then um the ma the mage ones they, rec they don't recover that fast, but they can recover consistently at least. You know you can you don't even need mobs to uh actually to um even charge MP unlike that other characters not magic characters but um but they're but the thing is even though it's slower than like the thieves they're like the mage's powers are like pretty strong to to begin with much you know 